update on the story getting national attention tonight involving a test we all remember from high school, the dreaded SAT. One South Florida student is accused of cheating. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live at Miami-Dade School Board headquarters where the superintendent is weighing in tonight. Hank. Well, her college career is in limbo right now, and she says she studied really, really hard to improve her SAT scores. Well, the testing company's not so sure. Here's the story. She is a dancer. Camila Campbell wants to go to FSU. The Crop High School senior is all set, except she missed the January 1st deadline to get her SAT scores in. The reason? Educational Testing Service, or EST, the organization that oversees the SAT, is saying her score is invalid. Her attorney. Such a marked improvement of her score indicated to ETS that she likely had prior knowledge of the tests. Camila took the SAT in March, scored 900 out of 1,600. By October, she says after several months of studying and prep on her own and with tutors, she improved that score to 1,230. And we are outraged about the accusation, the innuendo that this young black student can't achieve. That if she is to have achieved the 1,230 on the SAT, then she must have done something inappropriate. Miami-Dade School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho jumped into the fray. Once I learned of this issue, I felt it was appropriate for me uh, to reach out to the president of the college board and appeal on behalf of this student. I studied and I focused to achieve my dreams, and I know that to achieve them, I had to be focused and dedicated, and I won't let ETS or anybody else take my dreams away from me. Can it be done, a big improvement in a score? We ask a tutor. It is possible. It is possible. We have actually have kids that, are, that have accomplished that. Uh, it is not easy, but it is, it is possible. Uh, if, um, if a kid studies and, uh, and, uh, and works very hard, has the right guidance, he can do it, or she can do it. This from the testing agency, reading in part, when scores are under review, we work directly with students to collect relevant information and make determinations about the validity of the test scores. We will only cancel scores after we are confident that there, there is substantial evidence to do so. Camila might have to take her test again. Her attorney is ready to carry the issue much further. Including but not limited to a violation of her civil rights there may be some implicit bias that we plan to find out. Well, Camilla and her attorney, they want those scores released so the young lady can continue her college career. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News Tonight. Back to you.